Hey, I think we're live. Hey, everyone. It's Norm Ferrar, a.k.a. <laughs> the Beard Guy. And uh, we had a couple, just a small technical glitch. So we're running a little bit late, but we're on. And again, now this is brand new for us, but we're broadcasting live on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. So like my son always says, something about the likes, right, Kels? Hit those like buttons and share this video and that's right and ring that bell Kels, right yes ring the bell if you uh are enjoying it like and comment and share Kels this, says yes. uh, facebook live <laughs> that's right you know and if my if norm the gnome had a bell he'd be ringing it right now but okay so let's get down to what we're going to be talking about today and it's about video content and how to put it together and what to expect. And I've got an expert on hand. I've known him for years. He's a great friend. And in fact, uh, he used to own PR Reach. And the service worked so well, I ended up buying the company. And it all started because Rob, his name's Rob Burns, put together a video package for press releases. So even way back in the day, he was thinking ahead of the game, and now he's got some really great things to talk about. So Rob is the founder and CEO of Video Telepathy. And Rob, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me on. Hey, wow. I'm glad we uh, were able to get you on. <laughs> you yeah, were, you were, yeah. <laughs> a couple of small a little technical glitches. issues. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> So this is just a casual talk, Rob. We're going to sit back. Um, you know, we have a, a bunch of listeners. And for the listeners that are tuning in live, you know, kick back, have a cup of coffee, and, you know, just learn. This will be um, recorded, and you will see it later on on the different channels. But it's just something, uh, you know, just a casual talk, something to learn more about video, how we use video, um, and just expert expert advice from the expert so where do we start rob yeah so um i know you're very amazon centric uh, as far as you know product videos and with video telepathy we've really kept a focus on e-commerce amazon crowdfunding videos so so we're we're really very specific on that and we, we do also commercial work as far as just you know like regular full-blown commercials and things like that mm -hmm. but um we we started out um when we transitioned really focusing on amazon and e-commerce and um and now they're you know now they're really kind of considered one of the same but um so 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 that's where we go um and with amazon we we started creating things uh, uh amazon specific products things like uh, product demonstration videos and Amazon ads and uh, even uh, taking uh, something we call a market review video, which is kind of a man on the street video and where people uh, actually try the product, like real people try the product and then we get their responses and then we'll slice that up. And, and those are really great for Amazon. Ads because it's, uh, so I, I don't think a lot of Amazon sellers, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think a lot of Amazon sellers really know how effective uh, videos are. Like some some people, if you have brand registry, you could use video as your seventh uh, position, uh, or you could use it in your, uh, uh, in your store. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can use uh, video, and a lot of people worry about the price it's not really that effective for the engagement, is it? Um, not, not, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, the price the isn't price. that expensive. <laughs> Here we go with those tech issues. Like, no, it's terrible. It's not effective. <laughs> yeah. It's not what effective. What are you supposed to say? I should just go down. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, that, yeah, I was thinking like my brain just shut down. Um, so yeah, as far as price, so, so one of the things that we did that, that made video stuff the a little unique over video, other video agencies is we actually built a backend platform and, and we went through, um, just a ton of like e-commerce gurus and experts and people that use, you know, use this kind of stuff and say, what was your biggest, um, challenge as far as dealing with video agencies right? getting videos done for Amazon and 
And, and then what we did is we actually built that into the platform. So we took all the things that always happen, you know, as far as having a video made, and then we systematized that. And what that let us do was, is we could, we, now we can create a lot more videos and we can create them a lot faster for a lot less money. But the, the real upside is, is we can spend more time on creativity because we're not doing, um, you know, like, so one issue was communication. That was a big, a big challenge for people because it would be, uh, they would talk to one person from a video agency and they may have called them on the phone and had a discussion. And then they talked to another person. And it was like via email. And then they talked to another person. And it was on Skype. And so all, all these people, you know, through different processes in, in video production um, would use all these different uh, types of ways to communicate. And then nobody was really communicating with each other. And so, you know, there were, there were big gaps in all, and, and it, it just took a long time. And so what we did is we actually standardized everything and we put it, and we actually built like a communication platform in the dashboard. So once, once you get started, that's the only way we'll talk to you because whether, and, and it automatically kind of transitions. So when it goes from, you know, if you're hiring a script writer, then it goes to the script from the script writer, then it hands off, you know, to the videographer that hands off to the editor and all the whole time you can see all the conversations through the project. So that way nothing slips through the cracks. And so that, you know, that was one kind of time saving way. And then also we have a section for different assets and all, you know, all that good kind of stuff. So, so kind of to make that, the, uh, that short question long, um, we built a lot in there so that we could in, in, increase, the, um, uh, increase the productivity but still maintain high quality. And that's how we get our price yeah, down so that we can that do, you know, yeah. for the quality of the video, uh, your, your prices are uh, extremely low. Uh, so Amazon seller new to Amazon, what type of video should they be looking at or what kind of advice can you give them to get into video? Yeah. So, um, especially with Amazon, um, they're they're very vague on, on kind of what they what they like, but they're also very specific on kind of when they reject you. So, um, <laughs> so but just because we've done literally thousands of videos, we 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 really kind of figured out what they like and what they don't like. And and so some of the things that Amazon doesn't like um, for a product video is anything that's really kind of direct response style. So. You know, anything that's, you know, maybe, you know, like an ugly VSL type thing where it's just, you know, super hypey and playing on emotions and, and things like that. They don't like, um, they don't like any kind of bragging, false claims, um, uh, anything where that's, you know, like time sensitive, like buy now kind of stuff. And so, so anything basically, you know, kind of like a, that would be like a late night infomercial, they would, they probably would, would bounce. Um, what they do like, uh, like I was mentioning the product demonstration video is probably, it, it's funny because it's our least expensive video, but it probably converts the most on Amazon. Um, and that's really just showing the product being used, like just, just showing the product in the best light. And when you're really successful at, at creating that kind of video, it would be putting that product in the viewer's mind's eye. So that the, so the viewer is imagining using that product. And so with a demonstration video, like, they they don't even really have talking heads so it, it'll just show the product being used and then also we'll have supports you know all the different benefit points so have five or six different points and maybe even one or pain points and then we'll support it with music and we'll do that in the studio or around the studio if it's you know kind of an outdoor product or something like that so um that's that's how that works and that's probably what i would recommend starting off with okay how long should the video be product demo uh we we see about 39 40 seconds is um i think was it what is amazon i think their limit is 49 seconds something like that um what we usually keep ours about 39 40 seconds and and that seems to be the best the best conversions and i i guess once you publish it on amazon it's not just an amazon video you can go and repurpose this everywhere yeah, absolutely. So what do we do, especially if we're doing, you know, we're showing a shot and then, you know, it'll be dynamic text and it'll be a benefit point, um, is you can take those and actually slice those little, little, you know, 10 to 15 segment seconds, sec, 
10 to 15 second segments up and make that into little mini video ads. You can make them into uh, social content. You can slice up social content. And, and what's good about that is because a lot of times, you know, people used to when they did videos, they would they would think, well, this is the benefit point. This is the thing that people buy my product about you know this is this is why people buy my product this is one benefit point whether it's you know make you lose weight your eyes less puffy or whatever um but when you run those little mic those little pieces of micro content with different benefit points um from the same video you can start to get a picture of really what are people what are really people responding to about your product and so a lot of times we see almost most of the time people um what they the reasons people thought they were buying a product were not the same reasons as people actually, you know, it, it might be a different benefit point. So um, that that's something interesting too. So just split testing it too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just split testing. So. Um, Perfect. And but, uh, you know, yeah, we, we're take, taking about... a little, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Rob. No, no, I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <laughs> but what I was going to say, uh, we had a, Hannah Mora from Repurpose IO on the other day and sending over uh, like a 49 second video clip uh, using that app is it, it, it's really incredible uh, and you can get so much more out of it. So it's taking a video that doesn't cost a lot that you can have on Amazon that you can repurpose everywhere and then like take the clip and cut it into small pieces like Rob was saying. And it's so easy to do. You can get, you know, a hundred pieces of content out of one uh, video just by repurposing it. So first of all, uh, just to stop for a second here, I wanted to give a shout out to Victor and Mark. How's it going, guys? Victor did have a question or he has a comment and it's uh, video is the engine of pulling our train these days. And you're absolutely right. Uh, if, if, if it's video on your listing or your video ads, that and from at least everybody I've heard, that's what's really driving sales and converting. So, Rob, have you had um, any experience with the video ads? And have you? Um, I guess a lot of sellers have been going over to you for that. But what kind of um, stats can you give us on that? If you know anything? Yeah, um, you know, as far as running video ads, um, uh, I would say uh, Amazon and Facebook. Are great. Uh, we've noticed that, believe it or not, on LinkedIn, when you're running a video ad, um, actually a static ad or an article actually converts better than video. Which, um, not not to unto my own horn, but but you know, just kind of from what we're seeing. Um, and, and as far as the actual videos converting, you know, increasing conversions, we, we've seen we've actually had customers and and you know these these are customers that were doing a, a fair amount of volume, but they they've actually put it you know once you know, the day they put their video up, actually, they made that much more that actually covered the cost of the video. So, um, so it, it does definitely increase the conversion bump. It's, it's a little difficult for us to get hard numbers from, you know, from our, our, our clients, just because um, it, it's kind of a secret, you know, as far as e-com sellers and Amazon sellers, they, mm -hmm. they, they hold their cards pretty tight as far as their numbers and things like that. But, um, you know, we do get a lot of feedback. We get a lot of feedback is like, hey, this didn't work or this did work or, mm -hmm. you know, right here, we, you know, we dropped off in this time. And, and so we just keep adjusting our sales. And, that, and that's how we really learn as far as um, what's working and what's not. You know, one of the things that's really common with uh, video and uh, press releases, people are afraid or um, I, it might be because of the 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 ability to understand how to put it together so you have a script press releases we have the body of the uh, press release going out and most people don't do them a lot of people don't do them because they feel it takes work well for us we have script or uh, we have writers uh, for you if somebody uh, is on the fence doing a video uh, the script writing might be the thing holding them back and as long as they give you a, a a couple of bullets, everything should be cool, right? It doesn't have yeah, to be a yeah, long, depending arduous... on the kind of right, right, yeah. I mean, depending on the kind of a video, the, the kind of video, so like, like a product demonstration video or um, a market review video, kind of a man on the street, 
really, um, you know, us just having the product and then giving us uh, five or six benefit points and we're off to the races. And then you know, we go from there too. I mean, we go all the way up to, you know, we, we've shot, we've actually rented out like um, actual movie studios and built sets and actors and, you know, so, you know, and, and that's much, much more extensive, but those are, right. those are, uh, those are, those are more like, like bigger brand videos. Um, but yeah, just getting started as far as just how it's comp, how complicated it can be. And, and then even, you know, if we're, you're doing say a spokesperson video or something that's more like a commercial, then we actually have script writers that you can hire if you want to write your scripts. And if you want to write your scripts, we actually give you templates to say, okay, here's kind of the basic format we think will, you know, help help you convert for this kind of video and then you know based on the thousands of other videos that we've done and, and we keep tweaking those too so so what are some of the trends that you're seeing in e-commerce and uh, amazon right now with video i think the biggest trend um is quality uh we're noticing so one of the things we noticed say three years ago pretty much any video was just amazing. You, know, you you would throw a video up and it would just convert like crazy and you'd sell like gangbusters. And then, and then um, a lot of kind of the, the, the services where they were kind of um, uh, not robo video editors, but you know, just where they would take like stock footage and then add text and this, you know, that kind of thing. Um, those did really well, but we're really seeing a trend now of just kind of originality in the videos. So, um, we use much, much less stock footage and we spend much more time just shooting you know, original content and then actually having that, you know, that quality of the content. So, um, you know, I know a lot of direct response folks are just like, well, you know, it's, you know, don't spend your time on, you know, making your brand look pretty or fancy or whatever. But with video, I think video really kind of gives people an impression of what your company's about, what your product's about. So the better you make it look, the better, you know, the, the safer people feel. So, you know, throwing out some kind of a, a, a super ghetto video that's just full of stock footage and, and you know, people are people are really going to think that's how you're, you know, that's how that video relates to your product, which, you know, is not necessarily a good thing. So I would say one of the biggest trends is really just kind of the quality, just, um, um, that's it, <laughs> quality. Right. Yeah. I know back in the day, uh, the Animoto videos, we would just, you know, pump them out one after another, after another, not on Amazon, yeah. but just, and they worked, they worked videos. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah. It's got its place, but with, with Amazon, it's just like the packaging. It's like listing optimization. It's about authority and trust. And if people can take a look at your quality images and you have some crappy video on there, uh, they're going to take a look at that and it could bring the perceived value down. And if you can't keep that trust, they could click off very easy. So by putting a really nice video with features, benefits, um, it could be ingredients, it could be use, uh, you build that trust. So it's an important element for listing optimization in my view anyways. Absolutely. I think, you know, when somebody sees those videos and they're just, you know, super low quality they're saying well you know are these people really gonna you know are they really vested in this product or you know how is you know if if something goes wrong you know how are they going to take care of me and you know is this thing just going to fall apart when i you know when i open the box kind of thing so um the more you can actually portray quality and, and show that you care about the product itself the more and and, and the buyer actually then then i think you know the better you're going to do the, the the better your video is going to convert so and that doesn't always you know and, and there are, are some exceptions um testimonials uh i think you know real testimonials from real customers you should never be really super high highly polished because they no nobody's really going to go into a studio and give a testimonial for somebody you know on, on just a you know a regular you know amazon product or something so when you know a lot of i i see a lot of sellers going out and actually buying you know kind of these, these testimonials from people. Um, so, so I would say, you know, just regular cell phone videos are the, are the best, you know, right. The, the best for a testimonial. The only exception I would say was you know, like I was mentioning like the market review videos, because th that's almost more like we're going out, you know, man on the street, person on the street, 
and asking them questions about, you know, having them try the product and, and asking them questions about it. And, you know, those are, you know, those, those have pretty high production value, but people right. still understand that these are real people that are trying the product out. And that's, that's really the, the main message you want to do with a testimonial type thing. But that's a, there's a time and a place for that. So when people see a mm-hmm. polished testimonial, uh, like let's say that you go out there and do the marketplace reviews, they know it. So they, they, but they know yeah. it's a real, um, you know, their, their real feelings. When people go out and test out a product and say they do an unboxing video and they're shooting it with their iPhone, absolutely perfect. You can have a crappy video and it's real. People know it's, it's yeah. coming from that person. So there, again, there's a time and a place. Uh, we got a couple of things here and I wanted to, here's a question from, oops, there we go. Uh, Mark's talking about, do you feel uh, it's important to have a consistent face to the brand? What a great question. Well, if, um, if you're talking about, so, so you being, you know, the face of the brand, I mean, if you are the brand, then yes. Um, if, uh, like with video telepathy, I, I, we, we actually try to not so much make me the face of the brand for, Mm -hmm. (laughs) obviously for a lot of reasons, <laughs> but, um, uh, <laughs> um, but also because, you know, we have so much talent that we actually use our talent. And so kind of, kind of having a variety of talent, you know, whether we're doing our ads or, or promos or whatever, um, it is actually kind of our face of the brand. It's because it just shows that we have, you know, quite a bit of interest. Um, so it, I would say it really depends on the brand. Um, you know, it's, Sometimes, you know, the product is the actual face of the brand and, and meaning that, you know, that's always the thing that's showcased. So, so I, I would, you know, I would say if somebody you want to build your own personal brand or your personal brand is tied to, you know, tied to your product, then yes. And if not, then no. And, and if you're talking about different um, actors and talent, so like, say, was it a flow uh, with, was, was it she with Geico? And then, uh, or, you know, the Geico Gecko, those are all faces of the brand and those are all built on campaigns. But they also, they also, if you notice, those companies actually have multiple faces too, so they can transition in and out. So the um, caveman, one of the challenges of, yeah, yeah, exactly. The Geico <laughs> caveman, the, the, the emo, emo hipster caveman. So, right. Um, so what, you know, I, I would say, you know, there, there is a danger too of pigeonholing you. So say you have a certain, um, person or a spokesperson, even if it's not you that does it, then, you know, if, if that person goes away or all of a sudden, you know, when, you know, now wants a million dollars, a video or something like that, then, then you get kind of sucked into that. So I would say it, uh, depending on the brand. Right. Of uh, looking for a video company, there's a million online. You type in video production, video, this video, that, what do you need to look for? What are some questions that you need to ask before you uh, bring on a person? Um, as far as bringing a video agency on? Yeah, like video production I would company. Say, yeah, I would ask them, um, uh, I would probably ask them, you know, what is their production process? Like how, so, you know, it, you know, once I buy the video, you know, what are my next steps and how does this go? You know, how do we collaborate? Um, and then also you, you want to see a lot of samples of work and see you know, what uh, did I drop off there? So here. Hey Rob, you're uh, cutting out. Sure. Norman's frozen. Yeah. Am I, yeah, so, I dropped off and then you dropped so I'm not sure where we're at. Yeah. We're um, at. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll try this. If it, if it drops out some more, maybe what we'll do is just turn off the camera and just go by yeah. audio. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think you dropped off and I dropped off, so, but I'm, I'm good now. So. Perfect. All right. Um, so I think it, I, where, where did I drop off at? Uh, just talking about uh, the beginning, at, right at the beginning when I asked about uh, what people should ask for a, uh, a oh, okay. video production yeah. company. Sure. Um, 
I think people should ask about, you know, what is, what is your production process? So once I buy a video, uh, you know, how does that get started? You know, how does the process go as, as far as, um, um, you know, having the, you know, sit, us sending your products, having the video shot, all that, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, how is a product, you know, delivered? Um, I would ask, you know, different sample, you know, different samples of, of, you know, what their work is because a lot of, you know, most video agencies really kind of have a forte. They specialize in certain kinds of videos. So, you know, if you're going to somebody that does, you know, maybe corporate videos and you want an, you know, an e-commerce product video, you know, they could shoot it, but, you know, is, is that their thing? So, and then I would also, you know, get, you know, look for testimonials from other people and, and, and talk to other people that may have used your product, you know, use your agency. So, you know, probably those, those three things, but, you know, really like, what is the process? Um, you know, how long does it take, you know, how is it delivered? Um, how do we collaborate in between? You know, what do you need from me? That, that's a big one too. So. And what about uh, just how many times you can revise a video? Yeah, yeah. Well, with us, because um, believe it or not, I would say it's something like close to 60% of our business is repeat business now. So, mm -hmm. you know, our, our goal is to really have happy customers you know so instead of us just constantly trying to land new clients and you know and just kind of churning through old clients is we want to take care of the clients we have so we don't us personally we don't have a hard fast revision um rule it you know just as long as it's realistic like you know if you're kind of designing on the fly where it's like you sit in these revisions and then all of a sudden you're like oh that looks great and then like oh can you do this now you know and then it's like something completely different then we might have a talk but <laughs> Um, you know, usually, you know, we're, we're just more concerned about having that video. Yeah. And, and we, we do a lot on the front end as far as just getting information before we actually start putting the video together as far as this creation stuff. So, so we usually have a really, really good idea on, on what, you know, the client's looking for. Okay. And I just wanted to remind everybody, if you do have any questions about video or, uh, anything about today's topic, just uh, put it in comments and we'll get right to it. The other uh, area I'd like to talk about, Rob, is uh, the different areas on Amazon that people can use video for. So right now, everybody knows that you can, if you have brand registry, you can put it on your, uh, your product listing. You can put it into your product store. Uh, and now, um, I don't know if you know about, uh, if you've heard, but they've expanded it to uh, one video in your store up to, 20 sec uh, up to 20 seconds. So I'm not sure, you know, as of this date when we're publishing, it's 20 seconds. Uh, you can also... So is that for non-brand registered or for brand registered? No, that's for, yeah, that's for your brand registry. So when you have your store, okay. you can go in and they'll allow you one of the widgets to uh, upload a video. But the other areas that you can put these videos in, and we've, I've talked to you about this, but I haven't done it. And we got to talk after this. But one of the really cool ways that you can use video on Amazon is in the related videos. So I'd go over, I'd find a video production company, and I'd say, look, I'd like, I want to talk about the product, the features, the instructions, the ingredients, um, the how to's, right? And you do yep. you shoot a, a half day shoot or whatever it takes, and then you edit four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them, and you put them together with a thumbnail that looks consistent. It might just be a little difference in color, and then you upload them into your related videos. And I don't know if you've ever seen this, but it looks so cool. So now you're scrolling down, and you you know from the the, the listing to the frequently bought to you know down the next section down the and then there's related videos, and it looks like a tutorial that your company has put together. So a lot of people forget about yeah. that. You, are you doing anything like that right now? Um, we've done some in uh, kind of indirectly where people have taken like you said the content and slice it up and then put them in there. And then, you know, because we, we also do kind of like a lot of post-production videos mm -hmm. where, uh, you know, unboxing videos and, and, you know, how to, you know, follow up. And I, I honestly believe most of your money is made post sale where, you know, you're taking care of your client and, right. and because, 
you know, you, you could get a million companies, they'll, you know, they're good at selling you stuff, but how many, you know, companies are good at taking care of people after they've sold you stuff? And, and those companies that do that, those, you know, then they have clients that are evangelists instead of just clients. So, right. um, yeah, I, I love those down below because uh, I think too, really the mindset um, for an Amazon video is really less on selling people and more on educating and helping them buy. I mean, helping them not buy, but helping them, you know, make a decision. And right. so if you look like an advocate and, and the more information that you give them that, that it is, lets them know that much more about your product, the, the more they're going to, they're that, it just keeps narrowing down that chance that they're going to click that buy button. And, and, you know, just, you know, just being old school, even direct marketing, you know, every, every time somebody takes an action, you know, they're that much closer to buying. So if you have this whole little series of micro videos and they just keep going through them and they just kind of get hooked on finding out more about your product, they're going to be that much more um, liable to, to actually make a purchase than if you did, they just, you know, went and saw and like, oh, they got five stars and eh, I'll go look at somebody else now, you know? And yeah. so, you know, kind of, kind of getting them sucked into your ecosystem. Those, those are great for doing that. Yeah. Another tip. So this is the bonus tip for anybody watching. And this is all cool. Uh, it, you know, it's it's not black hat, but one of the things that we do with video as well, um, we'll create a product video. So <laughs> a product video with our competitors and we do a comparison. So we'll have uh, three different, well, you, you've got one of the products right now. So uh, our, our shampoo and the, the serum stuff I just sent you, but it, you just compare three or four different products and it could be your biggest competitor. Well, you can upload the video and you don't trash uh, anybody, but you can give a, well, maybe a biased, maybe you have a biased, you know, opinion yeah. on your product, but you you can easily put them on your competitors listings too. And they're not going to go away. So that's another way that you can just get onto the listing. I mean, you could do Amazon posts too, but that's a whole other, uh, that's a whole other topic. Uh, the other area that we haven't touched on is Amazon Live. So videos mm -hmm. in Amazon Live, I mean, that's a, that's a whole other uh, medium now. Yeah, I think folks are kind of doing QVC style videos. Of, uh, you know, that, that's something we're just starting to research into. And um, we had we had way back in the day actually set up, you know, kind of a studio where you could do that, where people could have their own little QVC shows and, and um, style shows and I think it was just then it was just too early and it was mainly towards the e-com crowd. So, but with Amazon live, they have, you know, they just, they can just throw such a massive audience, you know, at something that, um, and, and I think you can do promoted Amazon live. Am I correct? So you can run Amazon live, but you can actually promote it, you know, uh, um, uh, via paid too. I think I'm not positive. Um, you sure. know more about that I than I would. Yeah. That. Yeah. So that way, you know, you could actually you could actually send some heat towards you know towards your uh, your stuff, and and I think you can actually pre-record these and actually still run them as as on on the Amazon Live. If I'm not sure, if I'm not incorrect. Now this, I mean, it, it could be with video telepathy, it could be with any video production company, but I want to talk about the different types of videos that you're producing. We've already touched base on the product demo video. Now, tell us a bit more about the marketplace review uh, 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 videos and what products are best to best suited for that. And how, yeah, actually, so market. Sorry, Rob. Uh, the other mm -hmm. thing I need to know on this is how you're doing this with COVID. Yeah, so it's uh, it, it's interesting. So we're we're in California, and. Um, when the first lockdown happened, um, the governor kind of gave us a heads up. So we knew what was going to happen a, a week or so ahead of time. So what we actually did is we, we, uh, uh, took all our gears from the studio and then we actually built, uh, two other remote studios, uh, where videographers and editors are. And so we, we really didn't miss a beat. Um, uh, we, uh, so the products would come in and then, you know, uh, 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 one of our video officers just come pick up the products and they would take it to their studio and they would shoot, shoot stuff. So, um, it, it actually, it actually, uh, we probably saw a little bit of an uptick, believe it or not. Um, I think, uh, e-com, you know, because retail stores are, are having, you know, store, you know, 
on the street storefront retail stores are, are having such a difficult time. Everybody's going to Amazon to buy stuff. So, so, so we actually picked up a little bit in business and, and then we, um, we had to get creative, but it, it, it works really well, you know? So, and we're also, you know, we're still doing things like market review videos. We just have to be a little bit, um, we have to think it a little bit through before we do it. So we'll go to say, so a market review video, which is kind of the person on the street type video will um, maybe go to a farmer's market. And, and it actually kind of works out better for us now because in California, when they have farmer's markets, uh, they only let a certain number of people in. And, and then there's like this huge line that goes about a mile of people that are, you know, six feet apart. So we'll just kind of set up, you know, about a half mile into that line, you know, back and, have this thing and like everybody's just staring at us like hey what's that you know and we're like oh you want to try some coffee you know and and then we'll we'll have them try it and and kind of do the thing and then and then we can still um with our video set up and our mic set up we can we can still maintain our distance and have them maintain their distance and they'll we'll we'll do the review video and then we'll go through and sanitize everything and then we'll have the next person come through and just do the same thing so um uh so we had to get a little creative, but we didn't miss a beat on that. Um, one thing you were talking about too, as far as kind of those, uh, you know, showing your, your, your competitors type, uh, you know, your stuff along with your competitors. One way, uh, you know, cause Amazon, like, like I said, they don't want you to, you know, like go out and just bash your competitors. Like that's, you know, kind of, kind of in that old school direct response type stuff too, that, that they're this, but what you can do is say with the market review videos, you can do something almost like a, like a Pepsi challenge where you can say, oh, we have X, Y, Z, you know, and then, but they don't know which one it is. And then they try the product and it's your product. And like, oh, it's amazing. And then they try that one and like, oh, that's Folgers, you know, and oh, you know, that's, you know, chock full of nuts or whatever. Um, so, so you can do something like that. And then, um, you know, that's that, you know, 90% of the time is going to pass muster. And I'd say 90% of the time because, hundred percent of the time with Amazon is, is a pretty, pretty bold statement. So, so there's, we're just winding down now. Um, you have a product that I, I want to tell people about and it's for sure. social media. It's video social media. Can you tell people about the, um, the, the package or the, the service that you're offering? Sure. Sure. So, uh, we're doing a couple of things depending on, you know, where you are as far as, you know, um, on, on the growth of your brand. Uh, we start out with basically where if you have existing content or say we shot some content for you, like one of your videos, um, you can on a monthly basis, we'll take that content and we'll slice it up into basically all the different social formats. So, uh, we'll, you know, we'll make we'll we'll we'll, we'll take little, you know, five, 10 second snippets, make them uh, uh, vertical, horizontal, square for you know Instagram, YouTube, uh, uh, whatever you're using, then we'll also act, make, you know, make them into images and then also convert them over into say things like cinemagraphs and photographs and image ads and video ads and, and all that, all that different kind of stuff. Um, then for some of the, uh, larger brands, um, they just want monthly content, you know, where they could just have monthly social content and little micro ads. And we'll actually, you know, go through and just shoot their product just out, you know, kind of, kind of in cold locations and, and different things like that and, and then go through and, and do that. And then, you know, even, you know, and even to step it up even further, then we can do things with, you know, actors and um, models and things like that, you know, depending on what your product is and, and how big you want to scale. So, you know, and it starts out as low as three ninety seven, and, you know, it goes up to, you know, five or five or $6,000 a month, depending on, on what you're looking right. at. Well, I, I've seen uh, your, just your average package and uh, that's incredible value that somebody can have video or some form of rich media every day of the month in all the three different formats. So um, I don't I, I don't plug things. I'm not doing anything affiliate. I should, but I don't do any affiliate stuff. I'm just telling you that uh, I've seen Rob's um, that 30 day video content and it's incredible. So if you are looking for it and you, you, you're tired of doing all this yourself, it's an excellent way to have it um, at your fingertips. So I think that's it, Rob, unless you have anything else to say about uh, video marketing. Um, I could you got plenty go to say about video. I could go for days. Yeah. It's like, I, <laughs> but uh, I think we're probably good for now. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So I think that'll conclude our session today on uh, with Rob Burns. And I hope you enjoyed everything. 
I'm sure Kelsey will come on right now and tell us about what you're supposed to do. All I know is I ring a bell. That's right. Uh, follow us on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, everything you need. So um, if you enjoy the content today, just uh, yeah, a share and a like go a long way. So yeah. hope you enjoy it. Kels, we're going to also, this has been the full podcast. It's been about 40 minutes. We're going to also be uh, splicing this up into small segments and you can enjoy it that way as well. So, Rob, thank you so much for being on the hey, uh, podcast I'm not sure today. if you can hear me, but um, yeah, I think I lost the audio here. So, can you, well, can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. Okay, cool. I, I, I can't hear you guys, so I'm just kind of winging. I can see your mouth moving. So Okay, so I'm going to say this. See you, Rob. <laughs> All right. So, guys, until next time, until next Thursday uh, at – or actually, we have a special guest next Tuesday at noon – that's going to be talking about crowdfunding. So stay tuned for that. And we have another guest next uh, next Thursday at noon for Lunch with Norm. Thank you for watching and we'll see you then.